Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, June 5th, 2018. Tranquil weather conditions are in place throughout the region, but a few isolated showers are going to be moving through this afternoon. Keyword there, isolated. Most locations will just have some scattered cloud cover with some of the best weather I've seen in years for early June. Of course, if you don't like hot and humid weather conditions. I know some of you like the hot and humid weather, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a threat at least through the next seven days throughout the northern Atlantic. Your best chance for some increased humidity looks to be on Friday with temperatures pushing into the 80s, but that is about it. Temperatures this morning range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s in your urban areas, very comfortable weather conditions with low humidity. Again, there is an isolated shower or two moving through the region with a cold front, but that is about it. When you take a look at the latest surface map, you can see that cold front approaching the region from the Great Lakes. It's going to dive through this afternoon with a few isolated showers. Most locations will remain dry though. And on the radar, you can see those showers approaching. They're weakening as they approach the region, certainly producing more bark than bite on the radar with most locations only reporting light rainfall with these showers as they dive through. Most likely they're not producing the same intensity as they're shown on the radar because of all the dry air in the atmosphere that's in place. And on the infrared satellite picture, you could see the cold front diving through the region right here. The best upper level support is clearly focused over the St. Lawrence River Valley and lifting up towards New England, basically leading to only a few isolated showers for the area. So let's dive into this forecast for today. A few isolated showers will be a threat this afternoon, otherwise sky cloud cover. High temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast and mid 70s everywhere else. For tonight, look for sky cloud cover. A little bit of fog may develop towards tomorrow morning, but for the most part, look for sky cloud cover. Look for lows in the lower to mid 50s. For tomorrow afternoon, an isolated shower is possible, otherwise really just scattered cloud cover and highs in the mid to upper 60s. For Thursday, an isolated shower is possible, but for the most part, scattered cloud cover is expected with lows in the mid 50s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, mid 70s everywhere else. For Friday, a cold front will approach the region with a few isolated showers. Look for lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s with a noted increase in humidity. On Saturday, a few isolated showers will linger over the region. Otherwise, sky cloud cover is expected with lows in the lower 60s, highs in the mid 70s. On Sunday, an area low pressure will move through with some rainfall on Sunday morning, giving way to sky cloud cover in the afternoon. Now, this rainfall is going to have the potential of producing about a quarter to maybe a half an inch of rain, but most of it's going to be before even sunrise. So really, you're not going to get too much of an impact out of it. Look for lows in the lower 60s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So if you have plans for this weekend and it's in the afternoon hours, for the most part, really won't have an impact. During the morning hours on Sunday, watch out for a few showers. On Monday and Tuesday, high pressure will be in complete control with lows in the mid to upper 50s and highs in the mid to upper 70s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NY and JPA Weather. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always... Stay safe out there.